For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to Atwalls Outdoors with me, Mike. Today I'm giving you a bit of a review video on a brand new driveway awning from Isabella. So with me here today I have got the Isabella X Extension. So X Extension, kind of a play on words obviously because it's almost an extension of kind of your sort of van. Really kind of it's, it's mainly kind of Isabella's sort of properly first uh, driveway awning. It's all about creating an additional living space for the van itself. Naturally we know vans are quite small on space and it's definitely a bit of a premium so Isabella have gone to the, the in their own fashion and created their own kind of additional um, sort of living space but the main thing with a little bit of difference where it comparisons to this kind of more design you see possibly from other brands it's all about the fit to the actual van itself it's getting it close enough but really you want to open your van and you're straight in you haven't really got that tunnel section in between it, it's all about bringing it and making it flow all the way through so it's inflatable so it's quick and easy to pitch uh, basically you're looking around the region of about 10 to 15 minute pitch time depending on how quick and easy quick you can pump it up um, but realistically I mean on grass if you're on sort of hard standing it's gonna be a little bit longer just for the pegging points that's where probably there's more time involved in that it's available in several different sizes so you can basically have the main body and then you buy the tunnels additionally so the tunnel you basically choose the height you need to go for and, and at, at this very moment in time we have three different tunnels we have what they call their um, California van tunnel, which is basically designed purely just for sort of VW vans, be it T3s, T4s, T5s, T6s, um, or even your Californias. Next van up is what they call their family vans. So it's more like your uh, Ford Transits. The ones that are a little bit higher, your sort of um, Mercedes, your Toyotas, those that are a little bit taller than your sort of T5. And again, that's kind of how much level of detail is a better of going into to make sure the fit is dead perfect. There's not really much adjustment in the tunnel section, so they want them to get it spot on, hence why they offer different tunnels. And finally, the other one they do is their kind of, um, what they call their van tunnel section, which is really designed for your much, much taller vehicles, be it your De Fiat Decatos, chassis, the, the Peugeot Boxers, those much taller heights. And that's where it's quite nice, actually, that... You don't have to go to the level on that sort of things with, say, like the Dometic driveway model, which is very big and clunky. So it's a smaller thing, and actually they've really, really refined and worked on the tunnel to make sure that when you go into your wind-out on your van, you can still have a slope and it shouldn't actually catch the sliding door, and the sliding door actually opens within the tunnel section, which is definitely a big bugbear with other brands with this smaller kind of design. It basically has a dual beading on the tunnel section itself, so it's a four mil and a six mil. So it's designed to go into a like a Fiamma or, or some sort of wind awning, be it your brand, um, or a normal sort of C rail or multi rail. So you can only attach it on purely via rail. So if unfortunately if you haven't got a rail on the vehicle, you can't take the opportunity of, of actually buying the extension, um, just because it's all about having a perfect fit. And really, you still have the driveway function which actually allows you to, you wouldn't really use a fixing kit with this, reason being is because the tunnel zip on and off, that would be your method of attaching and driving off, so you'd merely unzip it, pat the tunnel away, feed it out of the rail, and then obviously leave the um, sort of extension in its own right, there's a rear panel which we'll come and look at later on in the video about the inside of it. So again, small tolerances are a really nice thing, Isabella using their uh, ISA fabric so it's a 195 gram uh, polyester material so it's not their normal kind of uh, acrylic material so it's non-breathable material it's all about something that's being a bit more lighter in terms of weight um, and again you still that get a really nice element of waterproofness when you actually feel the material itself it doesn't actually feel like a, a, a typical polyester material it doesn't feel like a cheap material it's a really nice handle to it it's something that kind of they've also used in their sister brand with their Ventura awnings um, and it's a way to help to keep the price point a bit more affordable in Isabella's terms, I will say that, um, as an option. Inflatable, so it, like I said, it's quick and easy to pitch. You've got um, essentially main inflation point, which is kind of located directly here. So you've got a point you can basically inflate from that initial point there. You've got one on either side. So you've got one located on this side and also one located on that side. So the joys of that is when you come to pack it away, you can easily get the air out and it goes down to both sides of the tube. So when you're packing it, ideally you go sort of most likely flip on its roof 
and sort of fold it from sort of one side across to the other and then roll it from the back towards the front so naturally the air is all going out. The airframe is a little bit of a different structure. It's something they've used for a number of years now, but the way this makes this different in comparison to a similar design some other brands is the fact the overall height of it is much higher, so it does feel quite spacious when you're inside of it, but also you've got bracing beams around all the sides. So from a structural, certainly from a torsion point of view, it's a lot stronger in comparison to that. And again, with that more rugged material, again, with Isabella being Isabella, they make sure it fits you know, to the millimetre so it really looks sharp all the time. Uh, you've got an option obviously of panels removing, so you've got, when it's attached to the van, the side panel and the front panel can remove completely. It means it comes almost like a bit of a gazebo. When you've got a more conventional UK van, I think that works perfectly fine because naturally you can still create that kind of um, front facing awning by just obviously opening this panel up a little bit and just orientating yourself around. Admittedly, if you've got, say, a California when you're or you know the door is on the driver's side, on the opposite side to that. Initially, you can't do the same kind of facing forward thing because the back panel is completely um, sort of sewn in, and there's a mesh part in it. So that's one slight criticism I would say with the California style. But for 95% of the UK vehicles, it works really nicely. The front panel here again, also you've got your window centralised in the middle, and you've got little doors that sort of zip inwards, so you can still have that little bit of an entrance directly in. All of the panels itself also have um, not only Isabella's um, counted tooth zip, so it's again really makes it accurate, but it's like a spiral chain design. So it means that when you're actually sort of opening and closing it, it's a much more smooth reaction and generally doesn't, it can come to more strain and not have to worry about it. Because you've got two zip pullers, you can still create a bit of a random naturally, so you still have some airflow coming directly in. And again, having that more orientation to the front of the van, so you are facing the same way as you've come to expect. Other points to mention is on, like I said, because the panel can be completely removed, you can remove the front panel, the side panel, and then the panel between the van, which would normally put in when you come to drive away, and that will help to reduce the overall weight of it. In its overall weight, you're looking at about 24 kilograms, um, so it's a decent size sort of um, weight, um, and essentially, because it's this better, and you've got kind of more substantial material, which is a very high grade, uh, like the polyester, naturally it's going to be a little bit more bulkier than you would expect. But I think normally with this kind of thing, when you get to site, the first thing you do is you have it maybe in the footwell if you haven't got space for it, get it out, you're pitching it first and foremost, then you haven't got to worry about it. It's only during the transit point from when you obviously set off from home to get in the campsite that it might be in the way. So the joys of that is again, when you get there, whack it up, put your stuff inside of it, then you haven't got to worry about it again until you've got to take it home. In terms of guide points, you get a standard two um, sort of typhoon uh, points, which are obviously allowed to give a bit more structure. So that's really good. I've sort of um, bouts and braces. You do have additional points, like with most of Isabella's awnings, that you can add extra guide points on if you wanted to. All of the pegging points down the bottom uh, around it are really quite nice. Uh, they're reinforced, so they're basically like what we call flag stitched. So again, it's, it's designed to basically last, which you know with Isabella you really do want. They're elasticated and they can clip on, clip off, and you can get replacements ones if need be. And they are also kind of angled at points as well to make sure you get the right tension in the right places. Beautiful big PVC window um, sort of directly out from the van, so again, gets great visibility onto the site. All of the window panels you see do have uh, curtains. They kind of do Velcro up to the top, um, and we'll have a look at that inside. Even small details like door retainers, as you would expect with Isabella, are little sort of button clips, so really nice and easy to use but also it's a bit nicer than using uh, a bit of extra cord and a toggle point, just a bit more classy from that point of view. And again, even like the doors, for example, are kind of sort of um, opened up in a kind of a different angle. And you've got a classic kind of Isabella porthole just to signify that, you know, it is kind of Isabella in terms of the awning itself. A really massive oversized pump comes to supply with it as well. And that's where, you know, most brands, areas where you can skimp is buying a little cheap pump. As you would expect of Isabella, not the case. The joys of this actually as well is you have two settings on the pump, which comes as standard. Um, so the pump itself, normally when you buy them additionally, are about sort of 80 quid. So I'll say that being included in the awning is really quite nice. Yeah. So you've got the high volume side, so you can get the volume into it. And then as basically the, obviously more air gets in and the pressure increases, you get a higher resistance. What, what you can then do is switch to the smaller side, 
and then you, it helps to get the actual overall pressure up to the right height. So again, that works really quite nicely. Um, but you can see beautiful kind of carbon frame, sturdy feet, and you've also got a little bit of a uh, filter directly on there as well. And on the bottom of the awning, we have got a, um, a really nice sort of uh, 340 gram PVC uh, sort of mud walling. So again, it's really nice and durable. There's no ground sheets uh, with the awning itself, but you can buy some breathable kind of flooring as with Isabella. Um, so you can, you can mix and match in what you want to do. In terms of the overall size, it's basically uh, 250 deep plus then the tunnel, which is in the region of about sort of 30, 40 centimeters. It does vary depending on which tunnel you go for. So when you have the, the van tunnel, i.e. the Ducati box tunnel, naturally it's a little bit deeper just to allow for that slope up to the vehicle itself. Um, but the main body width is 330, so it's a bit wider than you would think normally, um, and a little bit shorter in depth, so again, it's not going to be too intrusive on the pitch, so again, you haven't got to worry about that from that point of view. I'll tell you what, let's bring the camera inside and talk for a load more features that the extension does have to offer. So now inside the extension, you can probably appreciate a little bit more as we brought the camera around to kind of how look it looks inside. So first thing to mention, obviously, is we've got the... Uh, PVC windows, so that's going to get obviously a lot of light in. And we've got the situation on the side, but on the front, as we saw earlier. There is obviously the curtains previously mentioned, so essentially it kind of unravels, and then you've got Velcro tabs to basically put it up directly, so you can get a really nice kind of area coverage. And then feeling like when you want to sort of take it down, you can merely roll it down, and then it's, again the little Velcro press studs located at the bottom just to keep it neat and tidy uh, and don't have to worry about it. So what you can also do is obviously unzip the panel, which we'll kind of do just for the purpose of the video. So we'll drop that down, just for the time being, and then it obviously brings the outside sort of directly in. Quite spacious, and again, the main thing I said about is the overall headroom height. When you're sort of standing bang up in the middle here, plenty of headroom necessarily, and also with the sort of very vertical sides, it means you can have everything like your furniture really nice and up and sort of to the ends as well. The windows almost mirror each other on one side, on the back window, which is the fixed panel on the awning itself, you've got obviously um, your sort of fine mesh. There is an external blind you can drop down if you want that sort of watertight coverage, but naturally that's going to be your main kind of ventilation point into the awning itself. The frame actually is quite cleverly designed that it's almost separate to the actual canvas itself, but it just di directly Velcros on it. So if need be, if you know for any reason it gets damaged and run, you can actually un Velcro just the whole sort of airframe repair the actual fly sheet or even replace the fly sheet if there was, God forbid, an issue uh, and good to go. The air structure is designed that essentially there's a zip running on the outside and it's a single bladder for the whole awning, it's just welded in place. So again, we can replace that quite nice and easily if there was an issue or if you're on site, you can open it up, put a patch repair onto it, get you through your time away uh, and that works really quite nicely as well. In terms of the tunnel section, so what we do, if I, let's just take that down for a second. Into the main tunnel section here, it, so it's a really nice fit. I'll bring the camera up in a bit closer later on, but it's been designed that it's really snugly fit around the side. And like I said, with the tolerances on the van, it means that roof looks pretty much perfect every single time. What you have is a minor bit of adjustment in the corners here where you can Velcro up and down. It's really just to give you a bit of allowance in each tunnel section, for example, with the California, which we've got here. It gives you the ability that if you have different size wheels, for example, uh, or if you sort of load your vehicle, you've still got an element um, within that, so you can happily quite fit that. Generally, also on the side, you get a little suction parts as well to help really kind of um, pop it onto the van and, and try and get that seal. And that's one thing I think this awning does better than most is how, how it seals to the vehicle itself. The door, as per, you would expect to, can open up fully within the tunnel section. So it means that, again, your area, it flows, flows really quite nicely in and out. So it, again, feels very inviting. So when you're sort of sat in your van, for example, it does feel part of it. And you haven't got to worry about sort of any dripping or water coming directly through. Immediately it's into a rail, depending on how your uh, wind out or wherever it is mounted, will sort of vary that a little bit. Um, but essentially, in terms of the actual tunnel way, it looks really quite nice. So anyway, let's pick the camera up and kind of get a bit more up close and personal some of these features. So, as we kind of can see, first thing we'll probably go towards is the uh, how it fits against the vehicle itself. You can see obviously you've got a little bit of Velcro adjustment just to alter the height itself, but 
smits really smartly. You've got these little Velcro suckers. These are not the correct ones, admittedly. But you can also Velcro that away if it is fitting really quite nicely as well. So you haven't got to worry about that. But even how it goes down the, the bottom there again, just to try and seal the actual draft in. Uh, and it's really kind of nice sort of, again, PVC material just to get it looking really quite smart. The back panel, as we talked about, we've just got the um, obviously vent in there, so that's your fixed panel um, and your mesh on the outside, as we kind of come known to love. There is also a curtain located down the bottom there, so you can still get the privacy on that. So you've got the option of obviously having airflow, your sort of um, complete screen to keep the weather out, or then also your curtain that goes up to keep the privacy. So again, that works really quite nicely. The panel we see here, obviously the same as we saw on the first shot, so it goes from right to left or left to right, so you, you can dictate which way you want the door. So naturally you can have the door on this side and then that way your sort of flow goes fully uh, throughout the van itself. Brilliant sort of headroom height. One thing I would say is a bit of a criticism, there's actually a hanging point for a lantern. So really you can sort of utilize by putting something around the beam, um, just a bit of Velcro or something like that will actually hold that kind of overall in place. But the thing I want to look at again is obviously how it fits to the tunnel section. You have got a zip located, and again, it's a small chain zip on there. There's a bit of a baffle which you need to make sure is kind of over, so that's going to give the, the zip a bit more weather tight. Additional sort of points on there as well to act, have it on nice and neatly. But you can see kind of small how the rain can nearly nicely drop off and then goes off kind of either side. And again, you've got your extra points located here. As previously mentioned, when you've got the, when you drive away, you unzip the tunnel section, there is a panel that goes directly in there. It's a normal blank panel. It's just, and a lot of people actually purchase these purely to make it almost like a gazebo. Um, that way, what you can do is, admittedly it would be an expensive gazebo, but you don't have to use it purely with the van. It's something you can use separately and just kind of utilize the overall space. And actually, because of the structure and what we sort of talked about earlier, these additional sort of brace are being sort of pre-stitched in. From a structural point of view, it's really quite nice and strong. Just with the extra guide points, that's going to give it all overall space. For more information about the extension, what you can always do is go on to the link below this video, take you through to our website. We have more information on there, things like the pack sizes, floor dimensions, um, individual features listed with all the specifications of the fabric. Um, so we've got all those little bits there as well, as well as obviously the optional flooring. The flooring at the moment, as we speak, there's not an official kind of flooring for it but you can buy Isabella's carpet and the joys of it, you can cut it to shape so you can create your own sort of thing. And also there's a range of colors you can look at as well, um, but mainly being the nice and breathable. So if it is one of those things that it will keep the campsite quite happy on that point of view. But of course, we'd love to hear from you guys on your opinions on the extension uh, and any more questions you do have, feel free to comment in the box below. But really that's kind of our video review on the brand new Isabella extension. We've also the option of three different tunnels depending on what vehicle you have. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully we'll see you again in the next video.